it's Vicky from Minerva. In today's video I've got some really gorgeous new dead stock fabrics to share with you. Not only are these fabrics beautiful but they are an absolute bargain as well. They're all priced at just $3.99 a meter and they're all approximately 150 centimeters wide so you can make some fantastic garments in gorgeous quality fabrics at an absolute steal of a price in these fabrics. So I've got a selection of different base cloths. They're all gorgeous prints. And with all of these fabrics, as is the nature of dead stock fabrics, we only have very limited quantities of them all. So once they've sold out, we can't get any more of them. Um, yeah, and that's just the nature of dead stock fabrics. All of these have come from leftover production from small um, fashion houses that, you know, how the dead stock fabric works is you know a, a, a company that produces clothing for example they have minimums that they have to buy when sourcing fabrics for their clothing collections and if they don't use all of those uh, you know all of that meterage for the collection that year then those fabrics basically become surplus um, and that's where companies like us stop step in now at Minerva we've been stocking dead stock fabrics for you know over two decades now a long long time and you know it's only really in recent years that the term dead stock has become more commonplace um, and but yeah in these sorts of, um, of sort of clearance offers we can often find real gems of fabric you know they do really beautiful quality something a little bit different often um, and the price points are just you know are, are fantastic especially on these ranges that I'm sharing with you today so I've got 10 different fabrics to share with you I've also got some patterns to give you some ideas on the sorts of things you can make with these fabrics all of them today are wovens apart from one at the end which is a knit so let's just get stuck into them so the first one is a really pretty beautiful 100% viscose fabric now what makes this one a little bit different and, and quite interesting is it actually has a linen look weave so it almost gives the effect of linen with those little slubby um, textures in the weave but it's actually made of 100% viscose so you can see how incredibly soft and drapey that fabric is and the print on it we have like a white come ivory colour in the background and then all these really pretty blue and pink tiny florals scattered on the surface it's really really pretty and would just make a gorgeous summer blouse summer dress um, that's what a lot of the fabrics in today's video have in common that they're all very soft and drapey and definitely ideal for the summer months so that's fabric number one next up we have a crepe fabric and this is definitely one of my favorites I think it's gorgeous so we have this floral print design um, with a, a, a bright kind of royal blue or cobalt blue in the background and then this black floral print design that's stamped on the surface that gives it a really um, quite a bold kind of look but because the print is small scale it's definitely very wearable as well this one is a poly crepe so again you can see just how soft and drapey that fabric is really really beautiful again a dress a blouse a jumpsuit wide leg trousers loads of things you can make with this fabric the other thing that all the fabrics today have in common is they're all floral prints it's definitely something that's um a favorite of mine um and yeah just but there's lots of variety between them as well so this next fabric we have this again is a poly crepe and this has a black background with an ivory and white floral and in the center of those florals it has a little green sort of speck in the center so just a little bit of color in there again really soft and drapey really floaty this um this particular one has um is what you call a moroccan crepe so it has a slight kind of quite unique texture to it and that actually makes it easier to sew there's something about moroccan crepe that makes it easier to handle and uh, because crepe fabrics can be quite shifty um, but with a moroccan crepe the moroccan crepe crepe they're definitely much easier to sew so yeah that's a really lovely one and we actually have that same print but in a red colour way as well. So instead of the green dot in the centre, we have this little red dot. That's again another really lovely one. We just make a gorgeous dress and a thicker blouse. And I think with these two, because they have a darker background, they could certainly take you all the way throughout the seasons as well. 
and that's certainly true of this next print as well so this is another one with a black background and this has really pretty flowers and polka dots in the background as well uh, little sort of speckles they almost look like petals that have been scattered in the surface um, and in this one the floral print is pinks and purples uh, with that white kind of speckle in the background another uh, crepe fabric a moroccan crepe in this case really soft and drapey you can see the movement in that fabric just how it wafts and hangs and drapes really really gorgeous then we have another um crepe fabric now this actually comes in two colorways as well so we've got the black one that's on the mannequin here behind me and this navy blue design and this this is actually what's called a ripple crepe fabric so this one has a slightly different texture to the last um to the moroccan crepes but equally as gorgeous and you can see again when i hold that fabric up just how that hangs and moves really really beautiful again ideal for blouses dresses skirts jumpsuits wide leg trousers all that sort of thing the print on this one is a slightly larger scale still not huge but definitely larger scale than the ones we've looked at so far and the colors in this so we've got this rich navy blue background gorgeous color with these peachy orangey florals on there it's really pretty and on the black one so it's obviously a black background and again those peachy sort of orangey blush kind of coloured florals on there that's just gorgeous. Now the next two fabrics I've got are both ripple crepes again um, but these ones have a, a much lighter coloured background so this one you can see has like a an ivory or a white background with these gorgeous purple florals on there. I think that's such a pretty fabric and yeah ideal for for summer makes just really really gorgeous and again you can just the fluidity of these fabrics is just beautiful really really gorgeous it's going to make it such a nice garment to wear and next up so this is the the last ripple crepe fabric and this is another beautiful floral print how stunning is that so so pretty and yeah definitely sort of lighter and brighter than those first prints gorgeous for summer really really lovely i would say these ripple the, the two ripple crepes i've just shown you with the lighter colored backgrounds are ever so slightly sheer just because of the color of that background print um so you know for blouses and tops that's absolutely fine for dresses um or skirts you know you might want to line them or wear a slip under them um yeah so pretty those ones Next up we have some viscose, um, so these are viscose chalet fabrics, so that's a plain weave viscose and this one is a floral and leaf print design, another quite small scale one. Oh, it feels beautifully soft as this fabric, it's gorgeous. Very, very soft again, very fluid, very drapey, really, really beautiful and this is a black and white, so a monochrome print design, quite striking very easy to wear I think very sort of classic and then we have for people who um, don't wear black um, we have a navy blue colorway as well which is quite a soft navy blue definitely sort of an all over softer print with the navy and the white together really really lovely then next up I have a Georgette fabric. So Georgette is part of the crepe family, but it's lighter in weight. So this one is definitely, even with even with it being a darker colour, um, is still slightly sheer. So you might be able to see that on camera. It's not very sheer like a chiffon, you know, it's nowhere near as fine as that, um, but definitely, you know, slightly see-through. So for a blouse or a top, it will be absolutely fine as it is, but for a skirt or a dress, you would probably want to line it or just wear a slip underneath um, but this look again at the fluidity of that isn't that gorgeous another the design that's slightly larger in scale um, really pretty floral with that navy background and then we've got very soft pinks blues um, peaches and peaches and greens in this design so so pretty I love the idea of addressing that one and then lastly is the knit fabric we've got. So this is actually a scuba crepe fabric. 
and I love the design on this one. How gorgeous is that? So colourful on this black background, so it really pops against that dark colour in the background. All these gorgeous yellows, pinks and greens in that floral design. It's really lovely. Now a scuba crepe, if you're familiar with scuba fabric, um, it's very similar to that except the, a scuba crepe has a crepe-like texture on the surface. So that addition, that, that's a slight, ever so slight texture, just gives it a little bit of interest. Um, if you're not familiar with scuba at all, then scuba is, um, well a scuba crepe like this is quite a heavy knit fabric. It actually has quite a bit of drape, does this one for a scuba. Um, it's thick enough and heavy enough that it certainly doesn't need to be lined. It's the sort of fabric that doesn't fray, so off, you know you can leave your seams. Um, you know you don't need to overlock them or anything like that. Often people will leave hems raw with um, this sort of fabric because it just doesn't unravel. Um, and yeah, and it has a good amount of stretch and recovery as well in both directions. So with this you could make, uh, again you could make dresses, jumpsuits, tops, even a lightweight jacket in this. Um, yeah, a really, really versatile knit fabric and actually quite an easy knit to sew as well. So, you know, if you've sewn with like cotton jersey before, um, you know, you could venture into this and you'd be absolutely fine with sewing a scuba crepe. Yeah, really, really lovely design that one. Uh, just to mention at Minerva as well, if you're ever unsure about any fabric or you want to just see it in person before committing to buy, you can always order swatches, um, sample pieces from us here at Minerva. If you just go to the product page, you'll be, you'll be able to see um, next to the add to basket button, there's a button that says order sample. You just click that button and that you can order a sample that way. Uh, and the samples we send are the full width of the fabric by about 10 centimetres. So you get a decent sized piece, you know, to really be able to assess the print see all the colours, see how it hangs drapes, you can even test sewing it a little piece if you want, test washing it. Um, so that's just, you know, hopefully just handy to know. So let's have a look at some patterns that will be suitable for these fabrics. So the pattern picks I've, I've picked out today are predominantly for the woven fabrics we've looked at because obviously that's the majority of the fabrics that we've looked at today. Um, so first up we've got the Tilly and the Buttons Nell pattern and this is the brand new pattern from Tilly and the Buttons which features a top or a dress. Um, it has a button front detail, V neckline, peplum option on the top or you know full skirted option on the dress um, and then you've loads of different options so you've got the option to have these really sweet little bow ties that work all down the front you've got a plain short sleeve pit plain long sleeve um, or you've got like a big puff ball kind of sleeve which is fabulous any of the options you wanted to sew would be gorgeous in any of the woven fabrics featured today next up we had to include the Minerva exclusive Victoria blouse this pattern is perfect for light to medium weight fabrics that have drape. So any of the woven fabrics I've shown you today would all be gorgeous as the Victoria blouse. Then I've got a top pattern that's very, very simple. So if you're new to sewing or just want a quick, easy make, you know, to kickstart your sew jaw, then New Look 6483 is a fantastic pattern. The styling is very sort of simple on the envelope, but if you look, if you kind of look past that and look at the line drawings, you'll see what a fantastic and versatile pattern this is. So you actually have five different views included in the one pattern, and they're all um, different types, slightly different variations on a shell top so they all have a round neck um, with or without sleeves a dart at the bust line and then a little slit at the hem and just the type of top that just kind of skims skims over it's not super fitted and it's not super oversized either but again in any of the woven fabrics today they would show off one of these prints beautifully then for something a little bit different, we've got Simplicity 8172 and this is a really beautiful like robe um, cum jacket pattern um, that's designed for a woven fabric with drape. So you've different options on this pattern but they all have that loose grown on sleeve that hangs and drapes beautifully and they all have fullness to the jacket as well. Um, some have an extra ruffle around the bottom, uh, there's different lengths, but yeah, again, any of the prints of the wovens that I featured today will be fabulous for this pattern. You could even actually make that in the scuba knit fabric as well. I mean, it's not designed for knits, but there'd be nothing to stop you using that one for that pattern. 
Next up I've got, this is a relatively new pattern from Stylark and already it's been super popular here at Minerva. Um, so this is the Zalia top and dress pattern. And what I just love, love, love about this pattern are those gorgeous sleeves. They're absolutely fabulous. They're a very full sleeve that kind of come in on a band at a slight angle and the way they just sit on, on your arm, it, they, they just look gorgeous. Um, you've got a round neck option or a V neck option with a, a button fastening at the back. Um, again, it's that sort of style that just kind of skims over you, so it's not very fitted, um, but not really oversized either. And in the dress, dress you've also got inseam pockets as well, which is a lovely option. So yeah, I think that again would be gorgeous in any of the fabrics. The lighter weight, uh, light, sorry, lighter coloured designs, if you're going to make the dress, you might want to line it um, or uh, wear it, just wear a slip underneath. Next up I've got a shorts and trouser pattern option. So this is McCall's 7131 and these are really sort of full wide leg trousers and similarly with the shorts as well. They have pleats that go into the waistband which is what gives the fullness on the legs. And I just think in a, wa a woven very drapey fabric like one of these today, they would just swish beautifully as you walked. They would hang really nicely. Yeah, I think that's a really lovely trouser option. Um, and I love that it has it's fl it's a flat waistband at the front but then it's got elastic at the back and it has the type of pockets that I think are just really really lovely like a shaped um, sort of pocket yeah absolutely gorgeous pattern Next up we have, um, I've got a, a, a few um, ideas for dresses. So we have Simplicity 8910, and this is a really gorgeous, quite a wide V neckline dress. You have a sleeve or sleeveless options. You've got the option to have little ties at the top. Um, the skirt is a very full skirt with lots of pleating details that comes into like a curved seam line that sits just under the bust. Um, so yeah, I think again, you for a fab uh, for a pattern like this, you want a fabric with lots of drape, and yeah, these would just be absolutely gorgeous for that. They've also got very very lovely pockets on this pattern, a really shaped um, sort of deep pocket. Yeah, really nice option. Then I've chose the ever popular McCall 7948. Um, now we've actually made this in a linen viscose fabric in the past, which holds its shape a little bit more. Um, but these woven drapey fabrics would give you a slightly softer kind of look than the uh, image that's shown on the envelope there, which is quite made from quite a structured fabric. But it would create a really swishy, drapey, beautifully soft kind of uh, kind of dress. Yeah, that would be a really lovely option. And I think all the gathers on that skirt or the frills on the sleeve would just hang really nicely in one of these. Um, another really really popular McCall's pattern uh, would be the 7969 iconic dress. Um, any of the options on this pattern would be gorgeous. Um, the frills, the, the the full sleeve on view, um, version A, the, the like flutter sleeves of version D, the fullness of the gathers in that skirt, all the different details on which any whichever option you chose from that pattern would work beautifully in these fabrics. And then the last pattern I've got to share with you. So this is um, sort of two patterns in one. So there's the Montana dress from Stylark and then the Montana dress expansion pack. So um, with the expansion pack, it gives you the option to, sh to sew four different styles of bodices extra to the original pattern and you've three different sleeve options as well. So if you got if you get the two together, you know, the original and the expansion pack, it gives you so many options on this gorgeous style of dress. And the Montana dress pattern every single month is one of our best selling patterns here at Minerva. It's it's an absolute winner of a dress. Easy to make, easy to wear, suits everybody the, the the amount of versions that have been shared on Minerva of this dress is phenomenal and it just looks fabulous on everyone so yeah in any of these woven fabrics it's going to work beautifully for that pattern so that's everything I wanted to share with you today. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of our kind of like bargain fabrics that we've added to the, the website recently and just having a look at some of your dead stock fabrics here at Minerva. I think these in particular are such good value for money and 
Um, I think it's also worth, men worth mentioning that with these sorts of fabrics that are such good value, but still such beautiful quality, um, you know, they they're fabulous for making wearable twalls. And that that's something I like to do myself. You know, if I'm, if I'm the, making a pattern that I'm just not sure of, and you know, I just want to test the fit first, but I maybe don't want to go to the the, the whole extent of making it up in calico, and making notes, and doing all that. I just want to make it up, see how it, see how it's looking in a cheaper fabric, you know, before cutting into my, my more expensive fabric, then fabrics like this are absolutely ideal to do it with because it means you can test the garment you know, with a cheaper fabric. If it doesn't work out, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, but if it does work out, or, you know, even if it's not absolutely perfect, but it's still it's still absolutely wearable. It then means you've got a you know a garment you can then still wear because you've made it in an actual fabric rather than in calico or something. So yeah, I think these cheaper end dead stock fabrics that is you know fantastic value. They're absolutely brilliant to having your stash for just you know you might not have a plan for it now, but you know when you come to sew a garment where you think mm, do I really you know do I want to cut into the expensive fabric now before I've ever made it up? Probably not. Let's do it in that fabric first, get confident, and then I can go to a more expensive fabric. Um, yeah, so I think that's just a really good point to make with these sort of fabrics. They're absolutely fantastic for that. Um, like I said before, you can get samples of, from us here at Minerva if you'd like to see the fabric before you commit to buy. Um, we do offer free worldwide shipping at Minerva as well, and it's super fast delivery with Royal Mail or we use couriers as well. Um, so wherever you are in the world, you know, we can ship orders out to you, and we do offer um, super fast free delivery as well. And on top of that, if you are a craft club member, which you're welcome to, you know, join the membership wherever you are in the world, um, with a craft club membership, you will actually save 10% off all these fabrics and patterns today, everything on our website for 12 months from the point when you sign up. Um, so, you know, these fabrics that are already an absolute bargain at 3 99 a meter, you would actually get 10% off on top of that as well. So, you know, if you are somebody that shops at Minerva, you're interested in our craft club, absolutely take advantage of that as well. And yeah, just as a reminder, we only have limited stocks of each of these, some of them just one roll. And once they're gone, you know, as is the nature of dead stock fabrics, we won't be able to get any more. So if there is any you're interested in, please do hop on the website to have a look at them and, um, you know, and grab those those if if um if they're for you. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to mention. As always, we'll tag everything I've mentioned in this video, the fabrics and the patterns below. And then if you want to check any of them out, you can do. If you do make anything in these fabrics or patterns, please do share your makes with us on Minerva. Join our amazing sewing community at Minerva.com where you can meet and chat with sewists from all around the world. It's such an amazing, inspiring place on the internet to, you know, escape for a little while and immerse yourself in the world of sewing and hopefully make some friends and you know share some projects and just chat sewing with people while you're there so yeah do join us over at Minerva and in the meantime thank you very much for watching today and I'll be back again soon with another video filled with fabric and sewing goodness.